This video is for your tetrachords exercise to show you how to play the exercise correctly. Uh, this video is going to be for violin and viola because the fingerings are the same for both instruments. So let's get into it. Uh, the purpose of the tetrachords exercise is to practice using the different finger patterns that we need to use. So the most common one looks like this, where two and three are close together. Uh, the second most common, I call, it, I call this one major because it kind of gives you a major sound. Uh, then this one where first and second finger are close together, I call this minor. And then uh, the pattern where no fingers are close together, I call that one low augmented. And then the one where third and fourth finger are close together, I call that one high augmented. So this exercise is to help you practice each of those. All right. So for major, this is going to be your fingers on yellow, red, blue, and orange. So when you play it, it'll sound like this. So that's the first line. When you move to the second line, that's the minor. So you're gonna to need to shift just one finger. You move second finger from here to here. Pinky is still on orange, okay? Second finger moves from red to white, all right? So minor. Okay, and then low augmented, this is the one where no fingers are touching. So pinky is still on orange, third finger is still on blue, second finger is still on white, first finger is the only one that changes from the minor tetrachord to low augmented, first finger is gonna move back to the white mark right here. It'll sound like this. Okay, and then high augmented, Fourth finger stays in the same place. Everything else moves up a half step, okay? So pinky is on orange, where it has been. Third finger will now be on white. Second finger is on red. First finger is on yellow, okay? So that's our pattern. High augmented. Now for mastery for this exercise, you need to play all of them back to back. And then depending on whether it's your first year doing this or your second year doing this, we'll do it at two different tempos. For first year students, we're doing this at a quarter note set at 90. These notes are half notes, so you will play two beats per note. It should sound like this. Second year students will be playing this with a quarter note at 160, so a much quicker tempo. That's what we're looking for.